Thanks, Dan. All right, next up on the beer show is a selection from Stone Brewing. We all know Stone very well. And what we have here is the Patascala Red Air. Sure. Is, that, is, is, is am I saying it right? Sure. Okay, so, um, I mean, you can't it's go wrong with Stone. Patascala, yeah. Patascala. Patascala. Nobody knows. Yeah. That's what it says on the, on but, the but, bottom. But i, I got to tell you, I never tried this before. I've never even heard of it. So mm -hmm. what's the history behind this? Do you know? Um, a little that I do know is it's a relatively new offering from, from Stone. I had it a, a couple months ago at a beer pairing dinner, mm -hmm. and they paired it with pork rinds and a Carolina vinegar barbecue sauce, which is um, is a foreign concept to us out here on the West Coast. Uh, the Carolina barbecue sauce is not a tomato-based sauce at all. It's basically vinegar huh. with okay. like brown sugar, hot red peppers in it. Uh, it's a spicy. It's a sauce that they put on pulled pork after yeah. a barbecue. Fantastic beer, I think. I was I was shocked. So I, you when tried I tried this before. Yeah, when I saw the name Patascala, I thought it was some like sacred site in <laughs> India because of the India Pale Ale. But uh, uh, it's it's the hometown of the, the founder of Stone Brewery, mm, okay. Greg Koch, where he came from. But wow, well this this smells great. I mean, I really get a great aroma out of this beer so far. This it's is really a really good. Beer. Mm. Go yeah. from the ale to this. This is yeah. exploding yeah. This in the is, mouth. This is really, this is a great, strong tasting. Uh, this is an, is this an ale or an IPA? Or That's an IPA. This is an, an IPA. IPA. Yes. Red X IPA. It's pretty. It's, it's not, it's not a, it's not for your light IPA drinkers. This is actually pretty bold, don't you think? Yeah. 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 It's very balanced. There's a lot, there's a, a malt character in there yeah but there it's is. also very bitter it's it's west coast style it's it's what you would expect from stone wow yes yes exactly and it goes really now, good with a carolina vinegar i, I was just gonna say rinds. this is a good uh beer to pair with food with something yeah. like that this is really uh, Fried stone foods, does it again spicy food yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. and thanks to mike gaddy my buddy who set up that beer dinner that was well that was where it was so hey why don't you give it a rating what do you think I'll go with a 7.5. 7.5. Okay, I'm going to go a little higher than that uh, from an IPA uh, level. I'm going to give this an 8 uh, because I, I, this is a really... What's the alcohol up? Do we know how much that, that right. is? Oh, it's stone. And a half. Yeah, who yeah. knows? Uh, what does it say? I is could, it or seven and a half? I could definitely drink yes, a, a, seven point more three. than one of these. Okay, this is really yeah. good. Um, 8. I'm, gonna give it I'm an eight. going higher. I'm going 8.75. I, I really like this. This is my favorite IPA out there right now. Um, I think maybe I have a little bit of that because I think it's a limited release only. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not finding it in a lot of places. I, I saw it at a, a, they had a case at Costco with the mixture. Yes. Which I saw it was in there, so I bought one of those. Um, I really like it. Um, I like the red IPAs. All right. I dig it. Well, we have another one coming up from Stone. Up next. And we'll see how that tastes. I'm sure it'll be great as well.